from the venerable grounds of Fenway Park in Boston, Massachusetts. We've got baseball on the show. It's the Baltimore Orioles squaring off against their hated rivals, the Boston Red Sox. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. All right, just about ready to go here at Fenway. And today's starting pitcher, Lucas Giolito. What do we have on him? Well, he throws the change in the slider off the fastball. I really like how he's able to sell Leading the off fastball, but it's ball really change-up and keep hitters just out in Gunner. front a little bit. Swing and miss, soft contact. The slider as well comes out of the same tunnel. All three very deceptive, and hitters are going to have to stay back and make sure they get pitch recognition. Kicks and deals. Foul ball there. The why to kick the pitch. And down on strikes he goes. Now one away. Here's Adley Rutschman. You know, we talk so much about how guys prepare for a start. For Giolito, one of the things that's really cool, he actually uses scouting reports and then plays MLB the show to execute how he's going to go about attacking hitters. That's down and in. So the night before his start, he effectively goes over the lineup he anticipates he's going to face and plays the game. So he goes through an entire opposing lineup on MLB The Show, utilizing his own scouting report the team provided. That misses the zone, and the count is 3-1. and one. For Giolito, it actually is an idea that kind of came together with his buddy Max Freed. They played together in high school in Los Angeles, and they're not sure who started at first, but in 2019, they each began to go over scouting reports using MLB The Show. Strikes. Nice, efficient start to the afternoon. That's two out. It's a strikeout, but they'll be in good shape if they make their outs as difficult as that one. Those grinding ABs take a toll on a pitcher as the game goes on. Anthony Santander stands in with two away as he takes a ball. Two outs. And it's fouled away. This is a batter who clearly performs better in day games. I don't know why, but his numbers generally back it up. They tried oh. to get him to chase on a slider down and away. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there. And boy, umpire to give him the call. I bet you yeah. if he throws it again, hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Two outs, base is empty. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. Strikes out the side to begin the game. What a start. We head to the bottom of the first. Bottom half of inning number one coming up. No score after a half inning. And we're back here at Fenway Park getting the nod on the mound. Corbin Burns. Well, his main pitch is that cutter, and he will use it to jam guys, especially opposite-handed matchups. And then, you know, same-handed matchups, just trying to miss the barrel of the bat. He's just got to make sure that he doesn't start it over the heart of the plate because then it can go right into the sweet Leading spot of the bat. When it's We're right, right it's got late horizontal no, movement. So he still has to mix in his other yeah. offerings. He can't just rely on that cutter. Yeah. Otherwise, hitters will start diving at it. Jaron Duran stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Burns, a former Cy Young Award winner. He throws a cutter, a curb, a changeup, a slider, and he works in a sinker. And that one hit 97 on the gun. One and one. Next Boom. offering oh. is down low. And 
he deals. Full count. Line drive, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Well, they call that, that an advantage that count for a reason. You're so hand. much more likely to get something you can handle. Just a yeah, solid man. swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. And now a chance to maybe get creative on offense with good speed on first. Man aboard, and here is Devers. There's a strike. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, boo. Righty delivers. Burns, like ball. a lot of guys in the majors, played several sports ball, growing strike. up. He was a really good football player in high school, actually, which makes sense when you look at his build. But ultimately, he chose to pursue a career in baseball. Left-hand hitter waits. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. One away. Great location with that two-strike fastball. I'll tell you what, as a hitter, you're looking to protect the outside part of the plate, stay back on something off speed. So many times, that location with two strikes, you just can't get around on it, and that's a tough one to compete with. Now batting Tristan Casas. And there's a foul ball. Durant leads off first with one away. One one. And a pitch out, but nothing going on. So a substitution needed at first because of the injury. Pinch running for Boston, Rob Ref Snyder. Oh. Falling behind two and one. Two balls, one strike. Crushed. Left center field. This one's deep. He muscles that one out the opposite way. It's 2-0. That was blasted. Absolutely. No doubt off the bat. swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap and you know there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that and probably just as many who don't have the approach either he let that ball travel and got great extension on the ball through to drive it out of here Masataka Yoshida getting ready to hit there's a strike 95 of that one thinking about Yoshida He's never going to be the biggest player when he's on the field, but that doesn't mean he can't hit. He gets on base and doesn't strike out very often. That combo makes you a valuable asset to your club. One down, base is empty. And that one wrapped foul. That's the third. And now two gone. That is good. Not sure. Take a look at the lineup.
Two outs, base is empty. So stepping in for Boston, Trevor Story. In right, there, and it's on one. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Red Sox already leading. Ball oh. one there. One and one. The shortstop oh, takes the ball. They've got him working a little harder in this first frame than he anticipated. Two down, nobody on. And that one lifted in the air, center field. Mullins sizing this one up, makes the grab, and that'll end the inning. Two runs for Boston on the home run. It's now a 2 nothing ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball exclusively on the show. You're now into the game, leader. Rob Ref Snyder. He'll be patrolling center field. Now playing center field. Number Ryan O'Hearn comes Rob. up to hit. Well, oh, after putting up a nice yeah. inning on offense, got some team. runs across. This Ryan. is where you look for the starter to oh, go O'Hearn. out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. O'Neill makes the grab one away. That is it. The center fielder. Cedric Mullins, the next to hit for the Orioles. And a foul ball. Red Sox by two here at the top of the second. Ground ball right side, and That's it foul. goes just foul. That one a little high. bit high. Now one and two. It's a good take. Next two, offering two. way upstairs. One out, base is empty. Wouldn't Hold chase down. that time. That one is blasted. Left field towards the monster. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Now the tag at second, and he's out. Tying for two. Gotta love the hustle and the attitude there to try to stretch that single into a double, but unfortunately thrown out at second base. He was so close to being in scoring position. Ryan Mountcastle in the box with two gone. And it takes a look at a called strike. And a count is 0 and 2. 0 2 count, both pitches on the inside part of the plate. Hitter is thinking, I don't want to get That's beat here. This is a good time for something One off speed or away. Two outs. And a liner around into right center for a base hit. Seven. Seven. Two outs, runner at Austin. first. And into the box for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. And the first the pitch misses for ball one. Mountcastle leads off first with two down to the inning. Swings and blasts one deep to left center. And it hits off the monster. Coming home. Throw cut off down to the plate. He scores, and it's a one-run game. Puts a run on the board and picks up an RBI. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Mateo now. That one finds the zone. That's strike one. Two.
two outs and one in scoring position. Two. One and two. Rarely will you see a pitcher just to waste a pitch like that. The batter wasn't even tempted to swing. Every pitch needs to have a purpose so that it can set up a following pitch to help you get that out. The one two. And That's there's the ball. ball. Still two and two after the foul ball. Man on second, two down. And yeah, that's, that's outside. Ball. And now it's three and down two. Jordan Westberg waiting on deck for the Orioles. The right hander ball gives ball. up the Runner two out walk. Well, a great back and forth and that at bat. He has laid off some really close that's pitches that's and Somehow, Boogie found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. And next for the Orioles, Jordan Westberg. He's Fastball out. in for a strike, going along. On the ground, right side. Grissom tosses to first. That ends the inning, and they limit the damage. The O's add one on an RBI double, and this is now a 2-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here in Boston, bottom of the second. Well, that's stepping in for Boston, Willier Abreu. Willier Abreu. And here it comes. And the ball. first pitch misses for ball one. 1-0. One now a high fly ball out to left center. Mullins settles under it. And out number one on the grab. That is that is no left no field. Left. Here's Tyler O'Neill. Oh, here. One outside, outside, and it's one to know. One down, base is empty. High fly ball lifted in the air, right field. They got it for out number two. Batting it. The, the second base baseman. Vaughn. Vaughn Grissom, the next to hit. Grissom. Right through there for a strike. The strong second inning is a confidence builder for him, a relief for his manager. Doesn't have to get into that bullpen quite as early. Skips in the dirt. Swing and a miss struck him out. So no runs, no hits, no errors, and no one left. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Red Sox two and the Orioles one. New inning getting started. Here's the Orioles leadoff hitter, Gunnar Henderson. Henderson, 22 years old, and he's a former rookie of the year. To the right side, Casas takes it to the bag. One up, one down. The catch at number 35, Adley Rutschman. 
Adley Rutschman, the next to hit for the Orioles, went down on strikes his first time through. There's a strike. Not sure if he was expecting for the pitcher to come right at him, but he got a nice cookie there and just watched it the entire way. Yeah. Next offering is in for a strike. It's a good changeup to hit up in the zone. I don't think he recognized it. I'm sure he'd love to have that one back. That misses That's the, the zone. Now one and two. One ball, two strikes. Righty to the plate. Yeah, he's swinging. He chased the changeup to out. Well, I'm not sure what he was waiting on right there. He got the changeup and no, no, no. still late on it. You rarely see that. It almost makes you think that he was trying to set the pitcher up. I mean, if you can't catch up to the off-speed stuff, there's no way you're going to touch a fastball. Anthony Santander at the plate. And first offering is fouled off. Santander in his sixth season hitting third in the lineup and he was a second round pick back in 2016. The Red Sox up by a run. We're here in the top half of inning number yeah. three. Yeah, there's the strike. The other way and that's a base hit and that extends the inning. Now back, the first base base, Ryan O'Hearn. Ryan O'Hearn will hit next. He's 0 for 1. That misses, that's up, that's and that's ball. ball 1. And the pitch. Lifted in the air, right center field. Ref Snyder on the move to the alley. Grabs it on the run. And that is that. And the Orioles leave one. They're down two to one. Back in Boston, Speedy here's the speedy Lord catcher, Lord Connor, Connor Wong. The catcher, Connor Wong. Burns back to work. Right. And there's the strike. Well, we call that one. key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Right. Swings through that. Well, he looks fresh out okay. there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. The 0-2. Right. connect on the curveball struck him out. We'll take a look at the three pitch sequence here. Pretty simple in terms of putting them away at the plate. Once you're ahead, the third two as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. Rob Ref Snyder digs in now, came into the game as a pinch runner. This is his first trip to the plate in this one. Ref Snyder measures six feet even, 205 pounds, and he's usually in left field, but today he's patrolling center. Next no, pitch is outside. Well, typically left fielders have the least amount of range in the outfield, so for him to take the responsibility in center field in this one, he's going to really need his corner teammates to help oh. him out in the gaps. And it is two and one. Late right. that time, and it's strike two. Two and two is the count. One down, base is empty. Spoils that one, and it remains two and two. And the right-hander deals. 
waves at the bender for the strikeout. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Devers in now. Takes ball one off the plate. In the air, right side. Santander drifts towards it. Brings it in for the third out. Back now at Fenway. And now the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. Cedric Mullins. The pitch. Misses oh. outside, and that's ball one. You know, these Orioles do a great job, Boog, of just waiting for the right pitch to come their way. Right. I'm seeing very patient bats out. One one. He's only given up one run, but the starter's pitch count is starting to get up there, and that might be the best news yet for this yeah. offense. That catches the corner. You know, sometimes all it takes is getting to the next arm before an offense does any damage, and that might be the case today. Line drive, base hit down the line. So a man on base to start the inning. The bat. I really like the approach of that That's swing. That was a good change up wow. on the corner, but he recognized it early, did get jumpy, and just smacked it to the opposite field. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. Just that off the that inside ball. edge. The pitch. Slap the other way. Foul. Two strikes may see some movement over there at first base, trying to stay out of the double play right here. One, two down. Swings and misses, struck him out. That was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. And now it's Austin Hayes. He doubled home a run in his first A.B. You won. One and one. Pitch out, but no action. And a 1 1. And that nope. just oh. misses. Caught a break right there. Pretty good right. pitch in the outside corner. Giolito moved to first. Hey. Mullins Bro. back on a dive. Tying run. Is it first? Top half of inning number four. And he can't come up with it. But plenty of time to recover, and that's the second out. The bat, number three. Jorge Mateo. And now, Jorge Mateo. Huh. Your ball's what strike? Off the oh. mark there. And yeah, the count even one and one.
Here's the pitch. Runner on the move. Ripped on a line. And that is that. One left for the Orioles. And our score remains 2-1. Inside Leading Fenway off. Park, bottom Love of the fourth, right and now the first baseman, the first Tristan Casas. The pitch. This the is ball. off the That's plate. Inside. Ball one. He deals. Next oh. offering misses down and away. Two and two. Two two now. And that oh. one hit 97 on the gun. Got Boom. Count. He never moved because he never had time to. With that kind of velocity, you'd prefer that pitcher work away. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The pitch. Got him swinging. Got away with that curveball, no doubt about it. It passed right through the heart of the strike zone, and he just couldn't get the bat on it. When you strike out on one like that, that's when you start having conversations with yourself, and they're not usually very friendly. Now here's the Red Sox DH, Masataka Yoshida. First off, bring it just misses. Anything in particular stand out to you as far as moments at Fenway Park? Wow, you know, it's unfortunate because I remember as an Oakland A's player, we were up in the series against the Red Sox, two games to none. All we needed to do was close out a Saturday night ball game. We went extra innings. The Red Sox won that ball game. And then Sunday, they pushed the series by winning game four nope, back to outside. Oakland for game ball. five. And unfortunately, they won game five as well. One down, base is empty. That was 2003, and the Red Sox would eventually get their heart broken by Aaron Boone, but end the curse a year later. And that's in the dirt. And the count's full. Ground ball to the right side. He takes it on his own. Already two gone now here in the home four. Here's Trevor Story, 0 for 1 with a fly out to center. Just no, off the out. outside edge, ball one. Yeah. And that one hit 97 on the gun. One ball, one Chris, strike. we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what we we're expecting performance-wise. Yeah, Boo, great pitchers like this. You may get one opportunity in one inning to get to him, to get some runs up on the board. And if you don't take it then, you may see zeros the rest of the ballgame. Kicks and deals. Swings through that one. It's a strikeout. Red Sox go down one, two, three, as they're unable to add to their 2-1 lead. We go to the top of the fifth. Now it's the second baseman, Jordan Westberg. Jordan. So, Boog, you went to college in this town. What was it like for you being a college student and having the opportunity to bounce over here to Fenway Park and see some games? Yeah, in fact, 1990, a couple of college classmates and I, we were in college 
we bought standing room tickets and then the next night got a chance to see the Red Sox clinch the East against the White Sox and that sliding oh, yeah. catch in the corner by Tom Gordansky. The Red Sox would end up losing to the Oakland A's in the playoffs, but that's one of the things that I'll think about in terms of memories from going to college and going to Fenway. Stays alive. Right-hander kicks deals. That's no, off the high. mark, and it's one and two. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Two and now two. go back exactly where you want to go. And here it comes. And Sounds another cool. ball. Swing yeah. and a miss. Add him out front for the strikeout. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but in some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. Henderson yeah. batting with one down takes a strike. Line drive, come on. That'll drive you crazy as a hitter if you let it. I mean, he couldn't have hit that ball more in the screws than he did, and yet he's got nothing to show for it. Hang with him. I know the feeling. Now the catcher up to hit, Adley Rutschman. And that's no, that off missed. That's a ball. the inside edge. And that wow. is ball one. Two down, nobody on. And we're at the top of the fifth. Next nope. offering is downstairs. Struggled a little bit in this Two one. A couple of strikeouts earlier, but doing a much better job in this at bat to get ahead and find a good hitter's count at 2-0. Oh. Check and swing. One. Did he go? Yes, he did. 2-1. Good eye right there. Oh, they have had a hard time scoring in this one. The pitcher out there on the mound wants to keep attacking, make sure that they don't get any confidence. And he walked Ball him. Four. Take your base. His ability to draw walks has been something that's been part of his career since day one. Anthony. So next to him for Baltimore, Anthony Santander, one for two. in for a strike. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. Rutschman off of first with two away. Two outs. Gets a piece, and it stays 0-2. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. Here comes a pitch. Line drive. Fair ball. Around second is Rutschman. The relay, not going to get him. He's in there. Well, oh, here we are, third time through the order, and this is where we see the no OPS guy. jump the up. Base. Manager might have to Run go to the bullpen a little oh, bit oh. sooner than he anticipated. So two on with two away. So now the Orioles' cleanup hitter, Ryan O'Hearn. And there's the strike. On 
on the ground right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. So they strand a pair. Home half of the fifth coming up. It's the Red Sox two and the Orioles one. Bottom of the inning. Joe stepping in for Boston. Will you a brave? On the mound, he had a little trouble back in the first, but it's been a different story the rest of the way. Really settled into this outing nicely. Burns back to work. Ground ball base now. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Couldn't get any air under it, but he smoked that ball back up the middle. Timing was just perfect. Got great wood on it, and there's just no chance for the infielders with how hard he hit it. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. Tyler O'Neill up next for the Red Sox. Now will he close rule the ball, and it's 1-0. Rudder at first with no outs here. And Two another and ball. Chris with that distraction and a speedy guy at first. He's in a favorable hitter's count. Well, if nothing else, I mean, this is a great Three. spot for a hitter to be in. Two and one's the count. Kicks and fires. Swing and a tapper that rolls foul. And the 2 2. Good job to fight that one off. And a pitch. Headed towards the corner. Santander makes the play, and there's one down. The bat, the second base. Paul Grissom getting ready to hit. His first hit bat was a strikeout. Gets under and pops it up. Pulls it in, two away. The bat, the catcher, Connor Wong. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. And first offering is fouled off. Abreu, the runner at first with two gone. That one at the knees for a strike. Time. Burns with a move to first. Abreu back in on a dive. At the belt and fires. Bows that off to the left and will do it again. And a pitch. And that's oh. outside. And it's three and two. Great for the eye spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score. They stack center field. Throw in holds the lead runner at second. 
two on now with two away. Just what was it bad? She almost hates to see come to an end. We often hear the phrase short to it, running through it, and that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. Ref Snyder in the box now, no balls and a strike. is just off the outside edge. I think that was a strike. Well, I think he's trying to get a feel for where that one missed. I mean, it could have gone either way, but he looked a little shocked for a second there. Bounce to the right side. He takes it himself to the bag, and that'll do it. Boston strands a pair, but they still lead it 2-1. to one. here at Fenway. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. Here's the center fielder, Cedric Mullins. That one that's in the ball. dirt, and yeah, that's ball one. The Red Sox one with some up. bullpen action. Chris Martin up and loosening in the pen. And now two and nothing is that one missed below the knees. Yeah. Outside corner, there's a strike. Left hand batter waits. Found back our way, and that's out of play. Next pitch is outside. Ryan Mountcastle to bat next. And the pitch. Well, you can hear that ring off the mask from up here. Definitely took a shot that time, but I think he's hanging in there. Yeah, great to see him moving around okay. It's amazing how far the equipment has come in terms of protecting the umpires back there, and that's a good thing. That one is absolutely belted. And it bangs off the monster. Safe at second with a double. Third hit for him this afternoon. Man, those are the types of hits where you don't feel no. any vibration in your hands whatsoever. Such a good feeling. I love the approach he had right there with that pitch. Not trying to do too much, but still looking to drive it. And that's exactly what he's able to do into the opposite field gap for the double. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. And yeah, the first no offering is not close. With the tying run at second, and we're at the top half of the sixth. And that one fouled off. Giolito throws no. over, hey. and he dives back in safely. Here's a 1-1. Bounce to the left side. Whips it to Casas. Now one gone in the top of the sixth. Yeah, that was a wasted RBI opportunity, but competitor like him, he is looking forward to making up for it in his next at bat. Now the left fielder, Austin Hayes. Inside corner, that's a strike. It's 0-1. One out and a runner at second. Next That's one is off the play. One and one. One one. Just about to hit that century mark. A hundred pitches for this game. Righty delivers. Base hit into right center. 
Headed for the plate. Here comes the throw. It's offline, and he scores. Safe. He beats it. Well, that was an important at bat in this game, so a great job there stepping up to the challenge. Man, that feels so good to shoot an absolute bolt the opposite way. Split the gap and know that you've got extra bases right off the bat. That's the kind of thing hitters dream about when they're falling asleep at night. Manager out of the dugout now, and it looks like we'll see a change on the mound. Lucas Giolito will depart, and he's responsible for the runner on second, so the book isn't closed on him yet. We'll be right back. New Your pitcher for the Red Sox, number 28. For the Red Sox. Number 28. Justin. Justin. And into the box for Baltimore, Jorge Mateo. That one's in there. Strike one. And the right-hander deals. Strike two. Two really good back-to-back -back sliders. Now in an 0-2 count. He's feeling real confident about finishing this hitter off. He can go anywhere he wants. Popped up. Grissom under it. Makes the grab. Two down. And stepping in is the speedy Jordan Westberg. Now that's smack to right center. He dives, but he can't make the catch. Here comes the throw. And he's out trying for two. But one run does score on the play before the inning ends. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Two, three, four, due up in the home half of the sixth. It's the Orioles three and the Red Sox two. And we're back. John Chappie with Chris Singleton in the booth and leading off the bottom of the sixth, Rafael Devers. And he deals. Ripped to third. Throws across the diamond. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. The first baseman. And here's the first baseman, Tristan Casas. He's already homered here in this one. Popped up foul territory behind the plate. Rutschman pulls it down, two away down. Well, you got to give him credit out there on the mound. This outing started off a little shaky, but he's found a way to settle in and turn this into a pretty good start. That shows you a lot about his mental makeup as a pitcher. So now here's the DH, Masataka Yoshida. Yoshida, 30 years old now. And though usually in left field today, he's the designated hitter. You'll one. This one chopped on the ground, but foul. Two down, nobody on. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Nothing doing for Boston. And it's still a 3-2 ball game. Top of inning number seven. Here's the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. This could be at the top of the order here. You want to get it on, see if you can get a stolen base, maybe get around the bases and pick up a run. 0 oh 1. There it was. Oh, oh, here it is. Hit it. He gets a take, gets ahead in the count. Right handed reliever. Just nope. missed. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0 oh, 2 count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to that pitch later in this at-bat. 
right into the plate. And that one in the air center field. Ref Snyder has a beat on it. Corrals it. One down. The catch -catch of the third ball. Adley. And now the switch hitting catcher, Adley Rutschman. Throw the strike in there. And ball one. Bases empty one away here in the top half of inning number seven. That one no, missed. That Two one. Swing and a ball popped up. Devers under it. Balls it in, and there's two away. Now that the right field, Anthony. Now here is Anthony Santander. That one pushed to the left and foul. The wind of the pitch. That misses. No, and one and one. Way to lay off that fastball off right there. You're looking for something you see well that you can handle, but you also have to keep the discipline so that you're not popping up pitches that are just a little too high. Man, this has been a real important inning in relief. I mean, so far, they've been doing a great job holding that deficit at one. Whips it to Casas. Out number three. Nothing across here this half. Seventh inning stretch time. It's the Orioles three and the Red Sox two. Set for the last half of the seventh. Here's Trevor Story now. The right-hander back to work. And that one cutting but missing down low. Activity in the bullpen for Baltimore. Craig Kimbrell, the veteran right-hander, appears to be loosening up. Cologne, a left-hander, also thrown. And that one fouled off. Looking to get the tying run on base. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. And the pitch. They tried to get him to chase on a slider down and away. He's having a tough time getting a pitch by him as a hitter. You feel pretty confident that you're seeing different pitches still able to make some type of contact. Next oh, offering God. is down low. Willier Abreu waiting to bat for the Red Sox. The pitch. Gets a piece and stays alive. Five foul balls in this at bat so far, and these two are going head to head. You can see the crowd. They're starting to get into it a little bit more and more. And a swing and a miss. He didn't make it easy for him on the mound, but they still get the strikeout. A big first out here in the seventh via the punch out. Yeah, it just does so much to change the outlook of an important inning like this. When you got the leadoff hitter so critical in setting the table when you got a tight game like this. So a strikeout really puts them on their heels. And next for the Red Sox, Willier Abreu. Ball oh. one there. Wow. The pitch. Oh, and he pumps in a strike. If he doesn't get a knock right here, that pitch he just took is going to eat at him for a while. You might not see another pitch like that from a top-level guy like this. Swing and a miss. One and two. 99 pitches about to throw his 100th here in the seventh inning. This is where you really start looking for any signs of fatigue. That one to first. 
And he handles it himself for the out. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. And stepping in for Boston, Tyler O'Neill. First pitch just misses. That one in there across the letters. Well, I'm impressed with that challenge pitch right there. Even with this slim lead, this guy's not afraid to go right after these hitters. Two outs. And that's no in the dirt. dirt. And a foul ball. He stays alive. Two down. Nobody on. Foul ball. Another 2-2 two -two upcoming. pitch got him three up three down inning over one two three go to Red Sox they're down three to two back here at Fenway Park we go to the eighth and now the first baseman Ryan O'Hearn the why to kick the pitch in there for a strike at the top of the zone And it's oh. one and one. And yeah, the righty deals. Ground ball, left That's side. Foul ball. And foul ball. Left hand hitter waits. That to right. Abreu sizes this one up. Calls it in. And there's one away. Next for the Orioles, Cedric Mullins. Three for three with two singles and a double. Pitch no. misses oh. there. One and oh. And All that's right. in there at the knees. One down, base is empty. Swing and a line drive curling foul down the right side. He was a little out front, but did a good job keeping the hands back long enough to foul that pitch off. And two another and ball. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. Mullins tries to check his swing. Now to look to third. No swing. Ah, look out. That fastball drilled him. He had two strikes on him, and he hit him. Here's the designated hitter for the Orioles, Ryan Mountcastle. One for three. In the air out to center, Ref Snyder under it, and he makes the catch. And there are two down. Now back, left So next to hit for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. Pitch nope. misses there. Ball one. Mullins off the first with two away. There's a strike. Oh, he does 
to get the call. call. And it's two and one. It's getting squeezed a little bit here late. Line the other way. That's a fair ball and down the right field line and towards that corner. Grissom relayed a second tag and he's safe. It's a hustle double. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Really good hustle out of the box to make it to second base. Otherwise, there's still a double play opportunity to try to get out of this jam. Jorge Mateo, the next to hit for the Orioles. The shortstop nope. takes the ball. One and up. Two outs, two in scoring position, and we're in the top of the eighth. Just no, that missed. That's the ball. He's got a base open, so the pressure to come in and really attack this hitter, not as great as it would be if the bags were sacked. That Outside. one misses. Oh. And now 3 0. Jordan Westberg waits on deck. Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Ball four. And it's ball four. He missed down low. Now that sets up a really big at bat in this game. These are the moments when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. So digging in, Jordan Westberg. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Look, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves on the base paths. Two outs. And that's no, outside. That's and it's a ball to strike. Drags up empty. That's strike two. One and two. Count. Hit in the air, right field. Abreu in position. And that's the third out. Orioles leave him loaded. And it remains a 3-2 ball game. Back now, new pitcher on the mound as we roll into the bottom of the eighth. Craig Kimbrell. Ladies and gentlemen, your attention please. Now coming to the ball game. Number 31, Craig Kimbrell. Well, one Leading run game. Off. Here's the second baseman. Vaughn Grissom. The second baseman. The pitch out front and foul to the left side. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Pretty big strikeout right there to start this eighth inning. Down one. Down Any down leadoff down. base runner really makes this inning a bit more interesting. But now this offense has to switch from possibly trying to manufacture a run to needing to run into something or just try to string multiple hits together to get a run across the plate. Connor Wong up next for the Red Sox. Wouldn't chase that time. This one in the air center field. Mullins moving under it. Makes the grab for the second out. Now got it. Center fielder. Raw. And now the center fielder, Rob Refsnyder. First pitch doesn't find the zone. 
Holding on to a one run lead near the bottom half of the eighth inning. Next offering is in for a strike. And a foul ball. No, no signs of wavering on the mound here in the eighth. He's looking rock solid so far. Two down, nobody on. That no, one that misses. misses. That's the ball. Two and two. Swing and a miss, and that is that. Red Sox go down quietly. They trail it 3 2. We're back. It's the top of the ninth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Brennan Bernardino. Bringing in the lefty with the left handed hitter coming up to hit. Classic bullpen move right here, so we'll see how it works out. Now the third baseman, Gunnar Henderson. The third baseman, number two, Gunnar Henderson. As the lefty gets to work, ball one low, Bernardino. A tall lefty, 32 years old, and he found his way onto the team after being claimed off waivers. And another ball. Kicks and deals. Just oh, missed. Outside. So definitely a little wild right out of the gate. Well, it could be a little tough coming from the bullpen mound to this mound, but you've got to find a way to get ahead in the count quickly. He has it. We'll see oh, how this at bat turns out. And so the lefty allows the leadoff free pass. Pretty easy walk right there. Open. Last pitch wasn't even the much to think about. And into the box Adley. for Baltimore, Adley Rutschman. Rutschman. Catches the top part of the zone. Strike one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Chris Martin getting loose out there. And here comes. Pitch in the what dirt. And the count is one and one. Strike two. One, two. One run game here at the top of the ninth. Battling here as he fouls it away. And two, another two. ball. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, 2 2. He's already seen the curveball couple of times in this at bat so might have it timed up and ready for it and now the lefty chopped left side over to second Ready. for one how about that double play the 5-4-3 double play is a gem in baseball and how can you not appreciate the skill and practice it takes to make this look so easy great work by the infield now it's going to be Anthony Santander And a good eye there. The one oh. Swing and a foul straight back. Crowd locked in right now. One run game here in the ninth. Pitch Ball. misses inside. And a count two and one. Two ball, one they get strike. to this part of the order. Yeah, there's some pop there, but more likely there's some base hits. So very important to be patient. Let the pitcher walk you, if he will. and fires in Down the dirt and it's three and two
And they'll do it again. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. On the ground to third. Devers throws on the first. And that is that. Offense held a check there. Two, three, four set to hit in the bottom of the ninth. It's the Orioles three and the Red Sox two. Back now as they hand the ball to a fresh arm to start the bottom of the ninth. Yenier Cano. I think closer has to be one of the toughest jobs in baseball. And we see a pretty high turnover rate because of it. Every outing seems to be high pressure. This Reading one included. Off. We'll no, see right if he can wrap off. up the win and get himself a save. And a pitch. Devers right. in the box now. Take strike one. for a strike 0 and 2 all right now he may have not liked either of those first two pitches or agreed with the umpire's calls but at this point he's gonna have to bear down and be ready to hit anything close to the zone next One pitch is downstairs cuts and misses it's a strikeout well, that right there is what you want to see out of your closer. Now come uh, in and close three. the door. Rick cancel three. any hope that that opponent has in making some type of comeback in the ball game. Tell you what, that helps him settle in, and that helps everybody else relax a little bit to get these other two outs. Casas yeah. in the box now. Take strike one. No well, he had a pretty no good strike. look at that pitch, and not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. Makes the grab. And there are two outs. The pass. Number, Number seven. seven. The game Last game. out for the Red Sox Number in this Sox. one. Here's the Boston cleanup hitter. Masataka Yoshida. 0 for 3 with two ground outs and a strikeout. No strikes. 1 0. Trying to close out a one run lead. We're in the last half of the ninth inning. The Red Sox down to their final strike. Got him. And that is the ball game. Well, this was a tightly played game. Got a little of everything. Some timely hitting, runs on the board. Key pitching and defense in certain spots. Definitely a fun one to watch. A 3-2 final score in this one. As the Orioles win this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.